one day after dancing almost to exhaustion i was ordered by my other teacher fella pagat to go into the hut and then as i knelt inside the hut an initiate is not allowed to lie down unless so ordered by his or her teacher when i was kneeling inside the hut there came what i can only call a strange explosion inside my head and then like a silver fog a strange and totally inexplicable burst of joy filled me i did not know what i had to be happy about my body was aching every muscle was protesting but i was suddenly filled with this great joy a joy so intense i felt i could i wished i had the arms long enough to embrace the whole world i i felt i felt i felt one but yet many i felt i was one human being and yet i was many many more and i suddenly felt in my heart apart from the intense joy i felt a deep sorrow i heard people crying far far away i heard people thousands of them laughing far 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 away and when my teacher mine and her friend fella pagati entered the hut later i went i crawled on my hands and knees over to them and i said makos that is what an initiate must say great kings we refer to our ancestral spirits and to those who teach us as great sovereigns and so i said to my na and fella pagati makos ngonyama great kings lions of the world look at his eyes said fella pagati look at the stupid ones crossed eyes mine looked at me and said what's wrong with you have you been stealing our beer in the dark while we were away i spoke with downcast eyes no my aunt you know that i i do not touch beer which is unfortunate said fella pagati testily if you could get nice and drunk i would have the privilege of kicking your ass now what's up with you why are you looking as happy as if you have just made love for the first time i do not understand great one i said in reply oh you don't understand do you what do you hear what do you feel mine asked she was always a serious woman great mother i said i feel a stupid joy i feel i could run outside and embrace that tree or that cow grazing next to it of course said mine tell him fella pagat what is this that he feels fella pagat leaned back against the grass wall of the hut and his his bleary eyes mocked me from under the shade of his jackal skin hat 
he said, for the first time, Christian boy, you are experiencing something that your people talk about. Uh, what is it, great one? You are experiencing love, fat little bastard. You Christians talk a lot about love, but when it comes to you, you don't know what it feels like. Tell, tell us, what do you feel? Great one, as I have said, I replied, I feel like embracing everything outside this village. I feel like embracing both of you. But I hear people crying in my ears and I hear people laughing also. What is this? Am I going mad? Oh, it would be a great help to me if you could go mad, said Pagat. What you are feeling, boy, is love. And what you are hearing, boy, are the cries of millions of people who died tragically long ago and who died with their lives unfulfilled. What you are hearing, Christian boy, are the sounds of happy souls who lived this, this earthly life to the full and who died peacefully. But, great father, I said, I, why do I feel as if I should embrace everybody? Because you are everybody, that is what a true Sangoma should be. You should feel that you are everyone and anyone. You are a white man, a black man, a, a colored man, you are an Indian, you are a priest, you are a thief, you are, you are everything. Now you are a true Sangoma. You have taken the first step towards what we call Ubunye Nezwe, to be one with the land. Listen again. Listen again, sit still and listen. Stupid. I listen. 